Okay, folks, this is the CHS water pump right here. It's on the 09 Prius. I haven't seen any videos on this, how to replace it. But I looked at the manual, and it's right there. Right here next to the left front wheel, that's the CHS tank. I replaced the temperature gauge on that, and that wasn't the problem. I'm getting a code 2601 and I finally had to take it somewhere and a guy showed me that that's the pump right there and hopefully they'll clear up this code I replaced the inverter water pump twice because the first one was no good it didn't run so then I did it again that's another pump that's up in here it runs water through the uh, electrical uh, engine but this is the CHS water pump and it's right here next to the wheel, left front wheel. Hopefully that'll clear up the code. That's what the guy at the shop said. I had three codes, this thing set for like a year. We replaced the hybrid batteries and I had an O2 code. I cleaned off the O2 sensor upstream, cleaned it off and that took care of that code. And I had the inverter water pump, I had a code on that. It was still working, still running, but I still had a code on it. So I finally just had to replace it $140 later. And then this one, uh, my wife got. Ugh. She ordered it at O'Reilly's. This thing right here. Hopefully that will replace or take care of the code. Because we need to get the car inspected. Registered and inspected. And the hybrid batteries we got replaced were $2,000 back there in the back trunk area. I didn't do that, I paid a guy to do it. But this is this coolant uh, heating CHS tank, coolant heating storage tank pump. Hopefully this should clear out the code. Must be something electric in there that's giving it the code, whatever. So, all right. I'm going to drain this thing. I've loosened some of these bolts here. Right there. And that one's already undone. But there's a piece of pump I'm trying to get, but you can drain it right here on this thing. And I finally just took off the wheel so I can get up closer. Got some blocks. Got another jack right there on it. And there's the factory jack for safety. I saw a video the other day where a guy let the car fall on him. My dad knew a guy, he worked with it. The car had fallen on him. His wife went out there to check on him. Oh, how are you doing? He was dead card falling on it, like back in the 70s, I think. Look at the guy he knew at Texas Instruments. Dang, I put that too tight before. I replaced this other little piece right here, like the temperature gauge thing right there. Like that. So I thought it might be what the problem was but it wasn't it's a right on you all see that is it lit up enough well, some of this stuff could be hot coming out of there and that CHS tank it keeps it coolant Heat storage tank. Heck yeah, it is freaking hot. Last time we drove was yesterday. Keeps that stuff hot for like three freaking days. It's a little metal tank I showed y'all earlier. Yeah, I got an ETV for $100. I recovered the seat last night. 
I'll show you all that in a little bit. Pour it out. Hey, sounds like a racehorse. Replacing this pump right here. But he took it to a mechanic. He said that's what I was getting the 2601 code. So hopefully he's right. I've got them all cleared out, but that one. drain I'm gonna take this bolt off right here that one like the main one hey I thought you were through peeing shake it off hey it's the only freaking bolt that holds it on that one bolt right there. All right. Got that one tube off the bottom there. Now I'm gonna get the second one off. Pretty simple. With some channel locks. Put that there. Maybe that'll record. Yeah. All right, folks. Bucket there in case there's more. <clears throat> no, there's not. Miracle. Alright. <clears throat> there's a lot in there. Okay. So you're made in China, Japan. The replacement is made in China. Oh, great. Yep, right here. Made in Japan. Made in China, it says right there. Oh, wow. That's life. Hell, it wasn't cheap either. It was at least 140 bucks, or I believe my wife went and got it. Yep. Actually, yeah, she went. And she ordered it, and I went. And we both picked it up last night after we had some margaritas. Got fuzzies. Yep. that freaking easiest pie folks if it clears off that code I don't know if it will that mechanic in Richardson said it would Not get this thing freaking inspected.
nothing let them connect anything right there. Hey, I think we're ready. I'm gonna put the antifreeze back in it. Yep. Sam, look like a dead cat laying over here. <laughs> Sam's like, hey, don't wake me up. All right, Sam. I wish I could be that comfy and relaxed. <laughs> All right. Good boy, Sam. All right, I get the trim back up in there. Throw the wheel back on. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, this will fix the twenty six oh one code. Bonnet man. Some of you guys are. What's the Bionic man? The six million dollar man. I'm sure you can figure it out. Yeah. My son was watching that one day. He was pretty young. My daughter's like, are there really people that are like that? No, uh, not that I know of. Yeah, not that I know of. Is my knee a good spot for the camera? Prius. It's only an 09. It's almost new. Yep. Hey! Help! All right. I guess lose the attitude. I was going to lower it to the ground to tighten the lug nuts, but oh well. Safety. <laughs> some blocks behind the wheels. Cool. Now I get my wife to do the check on it. Whoa, Bessie. Whoa, Bessie. <laughs> 